Hey guys, it's Autumn here, and today we are revisiting a very special character to me and to my best friend Kelsey, Faraday. Faraday, for those of you who don't know, already has a video here on the channel in this D&D playlist, so go check out um, the base information for her, or at least the first story I told that involved her on the channel, but I'll give you a rundown of the character again. Faraday is a, a fighter, Asmar, who is a follower of Helm in our campaign that we are playing. She is very intense, sort of quiet, but is always looking to help somebody out uh, who needs it or to help out another follower of Helm. So today we're going to focus on two sort of things that happened with Faraday, uh, most of them involving Alexandra as well because they're kind of close. And here we go. So, the first incident that I want to speak of is one that happened in a cave system underground in our series, or our session. And what happened was Alexandra had proceeded to solve a puzzle, uh, which stunned her in place, couldn't move, couldn't say anything. Uh, as she was spoken to by an insanity god, which nobody else knew about. Uh, I'll be making another video for Alexandra at some point to explain the whole insanity god thing. But uh, after that happened, Alexandra collapsed to her knees, uh, a la my own dramaticness, and refused to speak to anybody and just kind of sat there uh, unmoving and untalking. So... They were stuck on the other side of a ravine where the bottom was filled with uh, the bottom was filled with spikes, and the way they'd gotten across before was Faraday using her shroud, um, her protector shroud or whatever it is that uh, protector Asmar have, and she flew across the ravine to connect the rope so that way we could get across. But that is a once a day sort of deal. They were we were extremely lucky that her patron Helm is the coolest dude ever and was like oh your friend she's not responding and is kind of going a little uh anxiety mode yeah here you can have your wings again so you can carry her across the ravine so alexandra gets carried across the ravine uh by faraday with her golden magical spectral wings yeah it was awesome it was a really cool thing to have happen and then faraday continued to carry her until alexandra wriggled out of a blanket burrito that they'd put her in and ran away. Again, another story with Alexandra because I have some things to talk to you guys about when it comes to Alexandra. Um, so that is one of the things that has recently happened with Faraday. Um, another one also with Alexandra also having to do with Insanity God. So they got back. Alexandra was finally talking to the group again and she has a hiding spot. Alexandra has a hiding spot in one of the turrets. It's kind of unused. It's like a secret room sort of deal. Um, um, the wall that protects um, Grimsby. I probably got that wrong, but it's fine. I know where we are in our world. Um, and she goes and she hides there, but she'd been at the bar with her friends and was very angry at all of them and didn't want to be bothered. So she left to go to her hiding spot and Faraday decided to sneak after her. She rolled a really high a stealth check, so I didn't see her, which makes me sad. Um, and our other friend Uthgar, who is a half-orc, tried to follow and I went, Uthgar, go back to the bar, and he went back to the bar. But Faraday snuck after her as she went up to the tower and Alexandra was kneeling down um, to sit on the top of the tower and Faraday swung open the door, the trap door to the top of the turret and ended up with Alexandra's sword at her throat. Um, so they ended up getting into a bit of a scuffle, to say the least. They ended up where Faraday had her parry parrying dagger and her rapier in hand and Alexandra had both of her short swords held at her throat, Count Dooku style. Well, uh, Anakin killing Count Dooku style, anyways, is my best way to describe that. Uh, 
ready to absolutely kill her if she tried anything. Um, Alexandra then had to roll a wisdom saving throw to not kill her best friend and possible love interest. And <laughs> she succeeded, thank goodness. Um, but that's part of the insanity god thing. And she didn't kill her. She was unhappy and they got caught by a guard and we were just, we played it off like, no, we're fine. Don't worry about it. And then our commander came over and yelled at us and gave us a stern talking to while we were fighting. So that was fun. So, yeah, Faraday and Alexander have a very interesting relationship at the moment. Their interesting relationship aside, they also are the closest members of the party, I'd say. Which is pretty nice because it's my friend Kelsey and I, so it's nice that the two of us who are close in real life can be relatively close as characters as well. Um, another interesting little story that I just thought of, uh, she also assisted a woman who was praying at an altar to Helm by promising to save her city, which was Rally Reach, or Rally's Reach, which is just called The Reach, which is actually where our party is heading right now, which should be kind of interesting. Uh, beyond just the story, though, let's talk about the painting a little bit. This was a present for Faraday, Kelsey, uh, that I wanted to do for her. Uh, she will be possibly leaving for Oregon for about a week or so soon, so I wanted to give her something before she left just as a present. And the entire painting is watercolor base. Um, I took a digital illustration that I did of her and transferred it onto Arches watercolor paper, watercolored it, and then did the detailing with a single micron fine liner for the eyelashes because those eyelashes on fleek, and did uh, the rest with uh, just normal Prismacolor colored pencil. So I wanted this to be something that was kind of special and fun to do. Hopefully we will be able to record some of our sessions soon so I can share it with you. Um, a lot of our party is leaving this semester uh, and won't be coming back to the same college. So we'll have to be doing things online from now on, which actually makes it a little bit easier for me to record. We also recorded a one shot that I hosted for them. And I am hopefully going to be getting the files for that so I can share that at least in a podcast format of some sort. And yeah, I think that's about all I have to say for this video. Um, I hope that Kelsey absolutely loved this painting and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!
Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to check out another one over there, and if you want to see the full playlist for this series, check out over here. Thank you for watching, and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you in the next one.